So I'm back out in the woods today and I'm taking a look at the Council Tool pack axe. So these pack axes are part of the Council Tool Woodcraft range and they, they're sort of premier range as far as I understand it. Well I actually ordered the one with the longer handle which brings it more in line with a sort of boys axe territory. So that was the one I was interested in. But when it arrived obviously it was the short handle and the dealer tried to tell me that it was part of the hanging process where they'd actually lost some of the length which I questioned and said well it's unlikely to have lost six inches but anyway um, it was an error at the dealer's end and he wanted to swap it with a Scandinavian axe but I did actually want to take a look at this council tool axe because I have some of their cheap um, range which I really like and I wanted to see you know how good this one was so anyway I decided to hang on to it and I found myself actually going out quite often when I was doing kindling this is the axe I'd pick up so I was quite liking it's quite a nice little axe and then I very quickly realized that it's obviously Council Tools um, direct competitor with the Grands Falls Bruck small forest axe. So I brought a um, my small forest axe today and I thought it'd be maybe useful to some folk out there just to do a comparison um, you know see how they compare what's the advantage of one over the other if there is one and just my general thoughts. Anyway I'll run through a few light tasks that you might want to put these axes to I won't do any felling. I don't. They're not really going to be great felling axes, but I also don't have any wood that I can fell, so I won't do any felling with it. But you know, small trees obviously you could do fairly easily with these as long as you were using them safely. But I'll do some processing of some dry wood that I've um, got access to here. Well, this dry spruce is pretty hard stuff. I'd say they both function pretty well. Um, maybe a slight advantage to the heavier weight of the console tool. But, you know, over time that might also get a bit tiring. But, you know, not much difference there. All right, for the split test, there was quite a significant difference in those two. This is, I mean, I tried to pick, there was wood from the same piece of tree, um, the same length. There was a bit of a kink there, you can see. This was the one that the Grants Falls Brux had to deal with. And this was the one that I used with the council tool. But it was significantly easier with the council tool. It has got a, a wider bit, but certainly, I mean, barring that difference there, it just went through this one like butter. Grandsaw's Brux was really struggling with this piece. So, in that split, they were fairly similar, but I did give the harder piece to the council tool just to make sure it was evening it out. There was a smallish knot there, and this was a thicker piece. And they were fairly similar on that, but probably, I think the heavier head and the thicker bit gave this one the edge again. Alrighty, so for doing some feather sticking, I mean, both worked. This was the council tool, much thicker, it was biting deeper, peeling off much larger uh, pieces, and the Grands Falls Brux, I guess just the difference in the profile on the blade, 
um, was doing finer shavings. So I think from a carving perspective, the Grand Falls Brux is lighter and also, you know, smaller head, different blade shape, and, you know, it's giving finer curls. So there's a the difference there. Time for a quick brew, I think. Um, just thought I'd share this Firebox Nano. Um, so, I know I have featured it before, but it's such a useful little stove. It's obviously a twig stove, but you can also run it with the Trangia Meths burner. Um, I mean, they're not cheap, but they're such a good little stove. Put it in your pocket, easy to use, easy to carry. So, very recommended. Well, superficially, they're quite similar. But if we have a closer inspection, you know, there are some differences. The small forest axe is actually lighter, the total weight. It's about 300 grams lighter than this one in its current form. The handle on the small forest axe is actually slightly longer. The bit length on the small forest axe is smaller than on the council tool. And you certainly feel the difference if you're using it one-handed. This one definitely feels heavier. Now, I think one of the differences that um, Gronfels Brux have followed. When they scale up to their large forest axe, they actually, my understanding is they use a bigger head. Um, it's heavier and larger. For this version, I think they just put a different length of handle onto the same head. So another difference um, that's certainly evident on the council tool, it has a hardened pole, which you don't tend to get on the Scandinavian axes. Um, and you can actually see the heat marks on the actual metal where they've heat treated it and the other thing this axe has has these sort of phantom bevels so i think due to the enormous popularity of the small forest axe pretty much around the world i think this is i really do think this is council tools attempt at competing as closely as they can to get some of the market share that this axe has occupied so both axes come with masks already supplied so we'll take a quick look this is the Grand Falls Brux version um, all riveted you know it's good quality but it's a bit thinner than the one that comes with the council tool slightly thicker leather it's riveted and it's stitched so I think that's actually a well it's certainly thicker feels more quality but they're both very functional there's no issues with those all right folks this wasn't the most comprehensive um, field test of all time but you know it gives you a rough indication of how they compare um, so we had chopping splitting and carving really definitely well I think the chopping they were fairly similar had the extra weight on this one and a slightly you know narrower profile on the Grand Falls Brux splitting without a doubt I think that one went to the council tool it has got a much thicker blade it's got the wedge shape with the phantom bevels and the extra weight so for splitting you know that was definitely the best one and then i think carving i would say it goes to the in my opinion goes to the grand Falls brux so overall you know they're pretty comparable i think some of it will come down to what's available in your area i personally think this axe is better with a longer handle i think the shorter handle on this with a heavier weight head it just feels slightly too top heavy this one is actually really nicely balanced so the grand Falls brux well balanced in your hand but this one, you know, the hardened pole is quite a difference as well. You know, that's going to be useful if you are going to be using it for any striking tasks, which I guess in a camp situation, you may very well be doing that with tent pegs, etc. You know, the fact that it is small, obviously, it's been designed to put it in your rucksack and carry with you. But it is edging up to, you know, this is with its mask is, you know, I think it was 1.2 kilograms. So it's not light. And the Grand Falls Brux was actually under a kilogram. So slightly longer handle. To be honest, if I was actually packing these in a rucksack, I'd probably go for the Grand Falls Brux. Now, Council Tool, when I got interested in them, was mainly because they were so cheap for an axe made in the USA. Um, they're cheap range, very good quality, lovely thin handles, and I couldn't believe how cheap they were. This axe, unfortunately, certainly in the UK, I'm not sure what it'd be like in the States, but in the UK, it's actually a comparable price to this one. 
Now, my criticism on this one in the past has been that they've inflated the price dramatically over the last few years. It's about three times the price of what I paid for it now. Um, and this one is now comparable with that inflated price now. And there's dealer costs, import taxes, etc. So I suspect in the States this may be a very good bargain, maybe a lot cheaper. Certainly in Europe, though, if they want to compete with the with Gransfels Brux, um, I think the price may be a deterrent, personally. But, you know, who knows? It's an interesting axe, very nicely made. I do like it. Um, I think in Europe, maybe, that would be what people go for. Possibly in the States, that's still a very good option. Anyway, folks, it was just a bit of fun. I do like them both, um, but there are some slight differences. Hopefully, that was of use to you guys out there or of some interest. And once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.